Did you know you can save energy and money with home energy efficiency ideas from your local energy co-op? As a member of your local Touchstone Energy Co-op, you have a powerful resource who understands your needs and can provide honest, direct solutions to all your energy questions, no matter how large or small. The program you're about to watch was created to help you learn more about how to save on your home heating and cooling bills by doing some simple projects around the house, like sealing your home against leaks. The video was produced by Energy Star, a government-backed program your local Touchstone Energy Co-op has partnered with Energy Star to offer you ways to make smarter, energy-efficient choices. And we shine as one. Learn how to seal the deal on your home energy efficiency. Our power forever will be together. Did you know that nearly half of your yearly energy bill goes toward heating and cooling your home? It's true. And if your home has a lot of hidden cracks and gaps that allow the heated or cooled air to leak out, it can add up to as much airflow as keeping a window open all winter. Hi, I'm Wendy Reed from Energy Star at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and I'd like to show you how effective Energy Star home sealing is. Home sealing combines reducing air leaks with adding insulation to make your home more comfortable and to cut your heating and cooling costs. Think of the exterior of your home as an envelope or shell. When the envelope is sealed, the warm, cozy air stays in and the cold air stays out. Improving the envelope of your home or home ceiling can be done all at once or as a series of projects, many of which you can tackle yourself. Here is a list of materials you'll be working with. Caulk, for sealing small gaps and cracks, spray foam for larger holes, insulation, fiberglass, cellulose, rigid foam, and reflective foil to reduce heat loss, and weather stripping for doors and windows. The homeowner here divided his home ceiling project into two phases. The first, he finished some time ago, and today, we'll finish the job. Hi, Doug. Hi, Wendy. Tell us a little bit about your house and the steps you took in the first phase of your home ceiling project. Sure. Well, the house is about 40 years old. Uh, we bought the house a couple of years ago, and one of the first things we noticed after we moved in was that some of the rooms were drafty, like especially the kitchen. Also, uh, some of the bedrooms were running a lot colder than other rooms in the house. Um, we hired a contractor to help us identify all the things that we could do in the home to make it more comfortable and to save energy costs. We ended up paying the contractor to do some of the measures, and then we also chose to do some of them ourselves. Great. The contractor Doug hired used a diagnostic tool called a blower door to locate the big air leaks. You can identify air leaks yourself by checking for dirty insulation, feeling drafts through gaps or cracks, and noticing cold floors and walls. A helpful tip is that the biggest holes are almost always hidden in the attic or basement. These are the areas that offer the most potential energy and money savings. In the attic, you can often find holes along the tops of walls or uninsulated attic side walls. Doug took care of covering and sealing the whole house attic fan for the winter when it's not being used. Sealing duct joints with a special high-quality paste called duct mastic, and covering larger holes and gaps with rigid foam. Doug, how much difference would you say these home improvements have made? Oh, a lot. Overall, the house is more comfortable and it's quieter. In the wintertime, it's warmer upstairs in the bedroom and more consistently heated. And also, things like the bathroom floors in the upstairs are much warmer in the wintertime. Plus, we're saving a lot overall on our energy bills. Sounds good. So what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to caulk around some windows, we're going to seal some air leaks, and put in some additional insulation. Sounds good. Let's get going. Okay. So we've identified some cracks around the window of the baby's room, and Doug is sealing them up now. Uh, Doug, tell us a little bit about the caulk that you're using here. Well, Wendy, this caulk is uh, for windows and doors. And um, caulk, in general, is good for cracks up to about a quarter of an inch. So what we're using here, which is a clear caulk, so it won't 
show up on the paint. It, it's perfect for this application. Great. Now, of course, your windows look great, but if you were replacing them, it would be good to replace them with Energy Star qualified ones, which will not only improve the efficiency and comfort of your home, but also can help keep your things from getting sun damage. Sounds good. So, uh, Wendy, now we're in the basement, which is an excellent place to look for air leaks. And right here, we found a pretty good sized hole, as well as this gap along the top of the basement wall. So, we can use expanding foam here to cut down on the uh, airflow and solve these air leaks. Okay, Doug, let's show them how it works. Of course, it's also really important to remember to use the right product for the right job. For example, never use this expanding foam around a chimney or a flue or any place that it gets very hot. Now that the air leaks are sealed, it's time to insulate. The easiest and most inexpensive place to add insulation to your home is in the attic. Check the amount of existing insulation in your home to determine how much more you should add. Insulation is measured by R value, which describes the product's ability to resist heat traveling through it. The R value is always listed on the package. A sales associate can also help you figure out how much insulation you should add. Fiberglass comes in rolls and bats and is easy to install. Just roll it into place. Many stores also sell cellulose insulation and you can rent a machine to blow it into place. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper installation. Weather stripping is a quick and inexpensive way to make your windows and doors fit tighter in their frames and reduce uncomfortable drafts. There are different types of weather stripping and door sweeps, so check with a sales associate for advice on which product to use. After you've finished sealing your home, it's a good idea to have a professional perform a combustion safety test to be sure that all your gas or oil burning appliances are working properly. And that wraps up Doug's home sealing project. Recapping our home sealing checklist. We looked at caulking, spray foam, insulation, and weather stripping. There are more ways that you can save energy at home. Now is a great time to schedule an annual checkup for your heating and cooling system. Keep your equipment tuned for maximum energy efficiency and cost savings. Go online to www.touchstoneenergysavers.com for more information on energy efficiency.